Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation, baby. Hello everyone, welcome to Dante's Boxing Nation. This is your host, Aki. Dante gave me the opportunity to post extra content on his platform, so I'm grateful for that. Feel free to subscribe to my channel on the description box below. And while you're at it, subscribe to Dante's Cooking and Travel Nation. And let's get straight to it. What do you know? We might see the old Manny Pacman Pacquiao. So there was reports that came out that stated that there will be no VADA testing for Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman. One time and one time messed up big time. Because you don't want to see the old Manny Pacquiao. Not like that. Because at the end of the day, Keith Thurman came out like a month ago, if I remember correctly, during the press tour. And he stated that there will be no VADA testing or he, he not sure if there will be VADA testing or not. And he doesn't care because he will knock him out either way. He stated that that's no way a 40-year-old Manny Pacquiao Pacquiao could beat me which is kind of foolish to me because you underestimated Manny Pacquiao and like I said you I'm not saying Manny Pacquiao is on the juice or not obviously he never got tested positive or whatever but it is suspicious that Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman is not getting tested by Vada like all the other big fights and there should be a backlash to this news however obviously they wouldn't be and Manny Pacquiao, like I said, at the end of the day, he turned down the fight with Floyd Money Mayweather back in 2009 for the same old reason. Floyd Mayweather, all he stated was, I just want to be on an even playing field, so let's do the VADA testing. Manny Pacquiao and his team said, absolutely not. We want to do regular testing, but what was very suspicious is while negotiating the fight, they asked Floyd Mayweather and his team, hey, can we do VADA testing to 14, 14 days before the fight? And after 14 days, we don't do no more testing. You know, 14 days away from the fight, they wanted no testing whatsoever, right? Which was very suspicious because why not? I mean, obviously Manny Pacquiao talking about he don't want to give a lot of blood and you act like Floyd Mayweather won't do the same thing. And also, just drink a lot of water and tomato juice. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not that hard for you to recover from that. And also, the regular commission test is taxing on the body as well. So the fact that they stated that was very suspicious to me. And the fact that when Pacquiao fought Thurman, I mean, not Thurman, but Mathise, he didn't get tested by Vada, and he looked amazing in that fight. I don't know if it was because of Mathisa. Mathisa was kind of washed already, or it's because the fact that his style, he don't move his head, and he's very stationary. I don't know what it is, but that win was impressive to me. So because we didn't see the best of Keith Thurman in his last fight, and there's no testing, and I, I'm picking Keith Thurman. But because there's no VADA testing, as they should have VADA testing, and apparently they didn't have it on the contract, then I'm leaning toward Manny Pacquiao to win the fight. And y'all put it however y'all want to put it, but if there's no testing, I won't be too surprised if Manny Pacquiao pulls the win, even though, you know, I would like for Pacquiao to win, don't get me wrong, but hopefully, like I said, both fighters are on an even playing field. And if it's not, it's because of Keith Thurman's fault. He should have put that on the contract. You sleeping on Manny Pacquiao. And you can see Keith Thurman got tremendous respect for Manny Pacquiao. During the interviews he having with uh, Manny Pacquiao on PPC or whatsoever. You know, you can see that he got a lot of respect for Manny Pacquiao. And he, looked up, and he looks up to Manny Pacquiao. However... Don't sleep on your idols. You know, your idols will become your rivals, but you don't sleep on no idol of yours, especially not like Manny Pacquiao, especially if there's no Vada testing. You might see the old Manny Pacquiao again. That's all I'm saying. So Keith Thurman, you know, even though I, I like his 
persona, the way he talks the talk, and even his style in the ring. But I just don't like the fact that he's all talk. And he doesn't walk the walk anymore. And he's just scared to death. Errol Spence got him shook. He's scared to look when Errol's near him or something. I mean, even if you mention Errol's name, he get bothered. Same with Crawford. That's the only thing I don't like about Keith Thurman. That he doesn't keep the same energy. But as far as his personality or whatsoever, it's great for the sport of boxing. And Matty Pacquiao himself is one of my favorite fighters of all time. But like I said, I got to tell it like it is. And the fact that there's no Vada testing really bothers me as a boxing fan. Because in any sport, if you use any type of PEDs, it don't matter as much. Like if you're kicking a ball, if you doing whatever that's not physical contact. But if you are here punching your opponent in the face, then it's a completely different story. But... If Manny Pacquiao is a former himself and he comes in a ring looking like the old Manny Pacman Pacquiao, he have one time looking like run time in the ring, then shit, it was going to be suspicious. But it is what it is. Like I said, Keith Thurman should have put down the contract and we'll see, you know. Um, subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't listen to these casual ass fans. Like I always say... Follow Latoon Boxing on Instagram for the best boxing memes. And peace and we out of here.